born Daniel Hernandez, Takashi testified against his former gang in exchange for a shorter sentence on federal racketeering charges. All right, no question was off limits during this extraordinary interview from why he snitched to what life was like behind bars. Lisa Evers joins us now. And Takashi actually came to you, Lise. Well, yes, we did, and we spoke to him one-on-one. -on -one. And as you know, Steve, he is one of the most popular and controversial artists on the international music scene, loved by millions and openly hated on social media by many. He just released his first album since leaving prison. It's called Tattletales, and in this exclusive interview, he reveals some of the personal pain that until now has remained private. Daniel Hernandez, known worldwide as Takashi 69, was behind bars after pleading guilty to multiple counts of racketeering, gun charges, and drug trafficking. His deal, testifying against his former Nine Trey Gangsta Bloods associates, earned him the label snitch, but shaved decades off a possible 47-year sentence. He ended up with two years, including time served. His chronic asthma and COVID-19 concerns led to an even earlier release last spring. He tells me he was so sick at one point because of the lack of heat in the prison, he had to be hospitalized. With the asthma and the coronavirus, I caught bronchitis once and two asthma attacks in prison. Uh, when I caught bronchitis, they sent me to the hospital and the doctor said, what's going on in that jail? Why is it so cold in that jail? And like, I remember I'm handcuffed to the thing, to the bed. In the dizzying space of two years, Hernandez went from trying to survive as a busboy, dishwasher, and delivery man to a self-made international superstar unlike any other, with millions of fans. Then to a convicted felon, shunned by the streets and many in the hip-hop establishment. He tells me at times it was too much. The pressure is so strong, like mentally, I think people would have, you know, attempted suicide. Because at, at a point in jail, I thought about it and I'm like, there's so much stress, so much pressure because you just see yourself on the news every day, this, that, and the third, and you're like, when is this going to come to an end? He says adding to his despair was learning that the former gang associates he thought were his friends were actually working against him. He says testifying on the stand against them was his only route to survival and that if people were honest, they would have done the same. He insists he is not a snitch. The audience understands it. The world, the public understands it. But they'll paint it like, well, we don't understand. This guy's a snitch. But what's the definition of a snitch? I feel like the definition of a snitch and definition of rat is telling on your friends. Hernandez knows his life is in danger and has eight bodyguards with him at all times. But he says that's to give him the freedom to live his life. And no matter what people say, they can't stop him or break him. Mentally, God has built me so strong. You know, you know the saying, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger? Exactly. So basically, I feel like I'm, I'm like, not invincible, but I feel like I'm at the peak of my mental state where I'm just like, I'll be fine. Tomorrow night on the Fox 5 News at 10, we'll have part two of my exclusive interview with Takashi. You'll hear what he really thought of gang life, his issues with domestic violence, and why he's taking on the music industry establishment. I hope you'll join us. Derry? Lisa, thank you. Great. Gang life, prison life, what it's like being a snitch, nothing off limits in Lisa Evers' exclusive interview with controversial rapper Takashi 69 In fact, Lisa got so much material that she's here with part two of the conversation. And Lisa, we are proud to let everybody know that Takashi came looking for you once he was ready to sit down and talk. Well, thank you, Derry. Yes, he did. And uh, he wanted to tell his story in his own words. You know, he's been accused of many things, but keeping his mouth shut is not one of them. Our interview went on for nearly two hours, and it was clear to me that while some call him a clown, he is a complex personality who is obsessed with succeeding no matter who or what stands in his way. Keep it on the head, yeah. Takashi 6'9's song Trolls with Nicki Minaj debuted at number one on the Billboard Hot 100 chart in June, and it's one of the tracks on his newly released album, Tattletales. The album's popularity remains to be seen, but the rainbow-haired rapper, whose real name is Daniel Hernandez, is already complaining about being at a competitive disadvantage. He claims his attacks on music industry methods have resulted in the establishment turning its back on his latest project. I'm one of the biggest artists in the rap game, right? You go to new music, it's loading, you go all the way to the bottom, right? 
You see no Takashi 69. Some fans and others in the streets and hip hop culture cannot forgive him for testifying against his former Nine Trey Blood associates, a move that brought his possible 47 year prison sentence down to under two years. It's still being debated whether he used the gang or the gang used him. Anyway, Here's what he told me. Were you aware of what you were getting into at the time you made Gummo, that first video, and you got involved with Nine Trey? No, yeah. Well, listen. Like I tell everyone, right? I don't want what you tell everyone. No, no, I want, no. you to, I no, want, no, I want no, the truth. truth. Gummo became a huge hit, going multi-platinum in 2017 and making the 21-year-old from Bushwick, Brooklyn, an overnight international sensation. But then Takashi 69 meets Nine Trey. Right. When we continue to say we have to repeat this, this huge success, then the gang starts becoming one, like Takashi 69, then becomes part of Nine Trey, but never taking an oath or getting jumped or any of it. It's just, you know, you have money, we'll supply the gang, and we'll take it from there. Throughout our interview, he often spoke about Takashi 69 as someone different from himself. But when he talks about his volatile relationship with Sarah Molina, the mother of his child, it's personal and real, the bravado gone. He admitted to me that he hit her throughout their seven-year relationship and never went for any counseling. We got into a huge domestic violence. All my truth coming out to you, Lisa, I flew into a rage and I put my hands on this woman. How bad? Bad. Like? Like bad. Like I was just hitting her repeatedly and she was like... In her face? Yeah. In her body? Yeah. Now, Hernandez is now 24, known worldwide and a convicted felon. He is still on probation from his guilty plea to federal racketeering, gun and drug charges, and still has 200 hours of community service to perform on a charge of sexual misconduct with a minor. Those who wished any of that would stop him will probably be disappointed. Stephen Derrick. Fascinating. All right. Thank you, Lisa.